This is the second help video uh, made for using the Interactive Island County Parcel Viewer web application. In this video, we're going to cover searching by owner, PID, or parcel number, measuring lines and areas, um, how to use the other layers that are included in the map, and how to export information out of the map. So first, as before, the blue text box talks about the functions that I'm showing you in these help videos, either the first one or, or this video. So you just click OK. Now to search by PID or name or parcel number, you click on this Query Parcels wi uh, widget. And you got to make sure that you click here by Select by Attribute, and then use the drop down. So if I wanted to search by name, I'd choose that option, and I'm going to just type in Island County. And now all the red parcels on the map are Island County owned. If I wanted to search for a specific parcel, I could use the PID or the parcel number. So with the parcel number, I have to make sure I use the capital R or capital S, and I'm going to type it in with all the dashes. And when I hit search, if I click on it, it will zoom right to that parcel. So the next thing we're going to do is measuring lines and areas. So I'm going to X out of this, and I'm going to switch my base map and zoom in a little bit. Clicking on the distance area widget, I'll get another pop-up. And these are all the different options you have. Um, drawing the line and drawing the freehand line. Freehand line means you click once and drag, whereas draw line, it's a little bit easier to work with because you're working with segments. So I'm going to show you this one. And you show measurements. Um, you can pick whatever you want. Let's just do feet. And now I'm going to click and click. And that's it. So. I can do the same thing with a polygon. Draw polygon, I'm going to do each vertex. You can change the area units, so let's change it to acres. And then from here, I'm just going to click, and you'll see that a polygon forms. So each time I'm clicking to make a vertex. And then to close it, you just double click, and you'll get the area inside here. Um, you can also add text to the map. Lots of different things that you can do with the map. But these will go away when I hit X, um, to X out of the widget. If you wanted to print with this, you'd go up to your browser and print like you usually do. Um, print, and then you just go from there. So I'm going to X out, and they're going to go away. Um, the next thing is how to use the other layers in the map. So let's go ahead and zoom out. And you can see that I have these uh, quarter section lines. I've got blue for plats and condos. Now if I click here, I'm going to get pop-ups for not only my Island County Parcels layer, but also when you hit this arrow, this is the Island County Plats and Condos, and the quarter sections. So these are all, uh, this is additional information that that is included. And like in the last video, if you wanted to turn those off, you could do that by going up to More and just turning them off. The last thing we're going to cover is how to export parcel information out of the map. So if I'm interested in a bunch of parcels in the same area, I'm going to zoom to all the parcels of interest. And then clicking right here, I'm going to get a table of all those values. Now when I click on this, I can export the attributes to a CSV file, which is a file type that Excel uses. Um, you can do the same thing if I were in an area that had plats turned on. I could use this. And from the plats, I can export everything out of the plats file. So I can get all the plats that are in that area and export that to an Excel worksheet. So these are some additional functions um, that are possible with this new web application.